Hello YouTube, Enzo Loco here. Um, I have just discovered a pretty cool uh, mod that I've done to my Axial Jeep JK. And um, on the real built Jeep JKs uh, with, with coilovers, they actually have the shocks located in the rear just like that. Now, um, I was uh, watching some YouTube videos the other day and um, I started just to think to myself, would it be possible to actually make this work? And um, so I brought down my, my, my Jeep and uh, I started just looking at it and seeing ways of maybe making it happen. And uh, here we are. So... Uh, I want to take the top off and uh, show you guys what's underneath. Okay, YouTube, so here we are. I have bolted the shocks up to the bumper mount that goes in between the frame. There's actually two little tabs um, that are integrated in there. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about if if you're if you're uh, planning on doing this yourself um this actually gives the jeep or or the scx10 a ton more flex than you would actually get from the stock setup so um usually these shocks would be up here and then they would be right down there where the links are but i've moved them behind the rear axle and um, up to the frame so it's actually uh, improved the flex a lot just from basic geometry so um, it didn't work uh, with the second coil which would be these guys these little short ones uh, because it would push it would push the Jeep it actually it, it would push the uh the the frame super super tall up high so it would look like it would have a ton of rake so what i did was i just put the uh the the top um like adjuster uh i and and i threaded it down all the way to the bottom um and i just left out the top coil and what that done what what that has done is basically uh uh it has removed the extra pressure from the uh top coil so it sits not j not exactly like stock but just a tad taller but i think it's a good compromise cuz i get a lot more flex um so how I did this was I actually took the spacers for uh, the front battery mount. Um, if if you have a standard SCX10, um, and your battery uh, tray is going to be in the front, and uh, there's going to be spacers underneath, like posts almost. And what I did is I took my Dremel and cut those. So that way I'll have enough space for the shocks uh, to come away from the frame and then uh, to fill in the gap for the uh, second link here. So um, let me turn it around. If you look up on YouTube... Um, Rebel Jeep JK or uh, Way of Life, they will have a few Jeeps with coilovers in the back like this. So um, I just tried to make that kind of like a scale replica in a way. Although they're not King Shocks, they're Icon uh, license shocks, but um, I think this is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I'm the first one to do this. I'm pretty sure I am. But um, it gives the rear end a lot more flex. So um, if you're a comp guy who uses the rigs in competition 
or just someone who wants to uh, make their uh, actual rig look as scale as possible, I definitely recommend this. Um, both because you get a lot more flex and because um, it looks uh, really realistic. This is the one problem that I am having is that because I'm getting so much flex, um, the spring is kind of not staying in there. Uh, but I don't want to put this too far down because then it's gonna push. Um, it's gonna push the body up super high when it's not under load. So, as you can see now, the spring is pretty much in position, and um, it it actually works really, really well. It's kind of like the Traxxas like push rod system, but not really the same thing. Um, these are kind of like joints, so they don't keep them super stiff or don't um, screw them in super tight. Uh, one because you're gonna you're gonna strip them out, and two because um, it won't be able to move at all. So, um, I don't know. I have nothing to lose. It doesn't hurt anything. Um, what I did, uh, was I drilled a hole for the truss, for the thrilling truss in the back. I drilled a hole where it kind of, like, bends, and then I put a screw, um, through that. So, that's how I got the bottom shocks to fit. Um... If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment. Um, if you want to check out my channel, go ahead. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe. And uh, like the video. So, Alright guys, um, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one.